Okay, so I'm going to do a really beautiful um, look for autumn. It's going to be um, a bit more of a nighttime look. Uh, we're going to do a really beautiful uh, grey, just lightly defined eye with a really stunning plum lip. Um, plum's a really great colour for autumn um, and it's especially good when you're going out at night just to, to really sort of stand out but not be too overdone. Um, the lip colour looks stunning. So I'm going to use all natural and organic products um, to create this look. Uh, I'm going to start with a rose organic rose water cleanse. Um, rose water is really good just for cleansing the skin. Um, it has an antibacterial properties as well, so we love that. Okay, now that I've uh, cleansed the skin, I'm just going to come in and make sure the skin is nice and hydrated before I do put the foundation on. So I'm actually going to use a tinted moisturiser that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. It's by a brand called Madara. Um, it's an organic brand and it's a really, really beautiful product um, full of lots of ingredients that are, that are highly nourishing um, for the skin. It does have a slight tint, but not too much. So I'm going to use it as a, as a base, um, which is going to moisturise. Okay, now that the skin is um, is prepped, I am going to go straight to the eyes and then we'll come back to the um, skin and put the foundation on after I've done the eyes. Reason being is there might be a little bit of fallout, so I want to go ahead and do the eyes first and then do the foundation afterwards. For the eyes today, I'm going to use, um, it's a palette by a brand called Lily Lolo. Um, it's an all natural brand, it's really beautiful um, and this palette has a really great range of colours, obviously as you can see. Um, I'm going to start just by uh, placing a small amount of um, just the neutral colour over the entire lid and then I'm going to go and work in with the grey just around the lashes to define the eye. Um, with the grey, I'm just going to come into the lash line and put most of the product there. Then I'm going to get um, a blending brush and I'm going to blend it out slightly just so it's a little bit smoky uh, and it doesn't look too obviously um, like a, a straight sort of line. You want everything to be blended and smoky and look really nice and natural. So I'm going to start by putting most of the product on the lash line and we'll blend it out. Okay, at this point, don't worry too much if you don't have, if you haven't done it perfectly, it's okay because as long as you end up blending, it's going to look really beautiful and natural. So brushes are another really important one. Um, I have some stunning brushes from a couple of brands who I love, um, including Eco Tools, uh, which are eco sustainably made, cruelty free, and they work fabulously, and they're super reasonably priced. Um, I also have some fabulous brushes from uh, Air Perez. Again, they're eco-vegan brushes and um, they work beautifully, all made from synth synthetic fibre hairs. And another one of my favourites is um, a brand called Real Techniques. So all these brushes can be found really easily, um, either in Priceline for the Eco Tools and Real Techniques, and they work beautifully. Just going to take a little bit of product underneath the eyes now as well, um, just to com complete the look. Okay, now I'm just going to come in um, with a black eyeliner pencil. I'm going to do it just on the waterline, so just the bottom line of the lashes. Um, we're doing an evening look, so it's just nice to make the eyes um, just look a little bit more sultry uh, with a bit of black eyeliner. Now I'm also just taking a little bit of this black eyeliner and popping a little bit on the, um, on the upper lid, just in the lash line, just to thicken the lashes create the look of thicker lashes at the base. Uh, I'm now going to come in with a brow pencil and just tidy up the brows a little bit, just make them look nice and groomed. Um, I've got an Air Perez eyebrow pencil here that I'm about to use. Okay, now I'm just going to clean up underneath the eyes before I put the foundation on. Reason being, there's been a fair bit of fallout and I'm using greys and blacks, um, so we do not want to leave any dark underneath our eyes that might look like that. <laughs> So I'm just going to use a little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil is so fabulous for removing makeup, um, for moisturising the body. You can use it on the face as well. Um, I prefer to use it on the body and I prefer to use it on the face when I'm removing makeup. It works so, so well and it's really, really good for your skin. So this is um, Eco Care that I'm using. Now I'm just going to dab a little bit on a cotton pad and just wipe underneath the eyes. Uh, I'm going to use a beautiful Inica foundation because it does give a nice amount of coverage, yet it still lets the skin breathe. Because we're creating a nighttime evening look, I might put a little bit more of this on just to make sure the skin's really flawless and so that it'll last um, a bit longer throughout the evening. Now, as a bit of a concealer that I'm going to mix with the foundation, 
Um, it's a well people concealer. It's really beautiful. It's a little bit thicker though. It can be used as a, it's actually called a um, foundation stick. Well, actually it's called a foundation concealer. So it could be used either as a foundation or concealer. The consistency is quite thick though. So I'm going to mix it with a little bit of um, the Inica foundation and just pop a little bit underneath the eyes and the areas that need a little bit more coverage. So moving on to um, highlighting, which is one of my all-time favorite things to do. Um, it just helps the skin to look really dewy and radiant and glowing and healthy. So I'm going to pop some highlighter just down the um, cheekbones, on the brow bones, down the center of the nose and on the cupid's bow as well. Actually, I'm also gonna pop a little bit just um, towards the inner corner of the eye too. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of uh, bronzer on the cheeks, just do a little bit of a contour, so not too much everywhere, you just want to do it right underneath um, the cheekbone just here, okay? Using a beautiful Air Perez palette. It's actually called um, blush, but it's more of a obviously bronzed tone. Okay, now I'm going to come in and create a really beautiful plum lip. I'm actually going to use a mix of um, two really beautiful products. One is the Notice Lipstick. One of my favourites, stays on for a very, very long time. It's really richly pigmented as well, really beautiful. Um, so this one is called Dirty Diana. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of uh, another product I have here called Hot. And um, it's a little bit more purple, so it's going to really create a beautiful plum sort of colour. So I'm going to mix it together onto a palette to create the colour that I want. Um, and then apply it to the lips. I'm just going to come back and finish the eyes. I'm going to use 100% um, pure natural mascara to really thicken and elongate the lashes. I'm going to put some deep mascara on the top and the bottom for this look. Uh, I'm just going to go over the waterline as well with the black liner because it has come down a little bit, which is actually what I wanted because it helps to create that really beautiful um, that really beautiful sort of smoky, darker lower lash line. Okay, and last thing to finish the look, I'm just gonna pop on some translucent powder. This is an Air Perez um, corn powder that I'm gonna use, and it's just going to get rid of any shine around the T-zone area, around the nose and on the chin. Uh, the eyes are a bit more defined. The lip color is absolutely stunning for winter, or for autumn. Um, it's a really deep sort of plum lip, and it's a really beautiful look in my opinion. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was really exciting for me to see how nature of beauty sort of comes together. It was a pleasure doing it. Um, I guess I just want to say I hope you all enjoyed it as well. If anyone does need any more hot tips or um, product recommendations on um, what they should be using or how to switch to natural, please feel free to uh, be in touch with me. I'm more than happy to help um, anyone to, to make the switch and to be able to, you know, do beautiful makeup with the natural products. Um, just follow Head to the, the, the links below um, and you'll be able to find all my details there. And stay tuned for more updates.